Welcome to Doomcast, a video series about Doom, a configuration framework for Emacs. In the previous episode, we created a pull request directly from Emacs using Magit and Forge. Today, we will try to merge that pull request again using Magit and Forge. So this is our repository. We have one pull request pending, ready for review. And let's try to merge it in Emacs. So I type space gg to have the magit status. And here, since we configured Forge, we can now see pending pull requests. When I press enter, I can see commits that are within that pull request. And then I can just review each of those commits and see what changed. So the first thing we need to do to merge a pull request is to create a branch, a local branch. So we can do this by pressing B and Y which stands for creating a branch from pull request. When I press it, I see that Emacs suggests available pull requests. We have only one, so let's select that. And now we are on the profanity branch. So the branch was created, it's now local, and we can now use that branch to merge its content with master. In order to do that, we need to press M for merge, and then I, merge into. So it says that I can merge the profanity branch into master. And this is what I would like to do. So I press enter and it's done. Next, we need to push the changes to our remote repository, which is GitHub. If we go back, this pull request is still pending. We merged its content with our master locally, but it's not yet merged on our remote. So in order to do that, we just need to push the changes to our remote. So I press P and then P again, which is origin master. Once I pushed and I go back to GitHub, I see that this pull request was merged. Finally, the pull request section is not refreshed and we need to do it manually. So I need to invoke forge pull directly. Once it finishes, now the status of this pull request is merged. And that's all. We successfully merged a pull request directly from Emacs using Magit and Forge. I decided to make some exclusive content, exclusive videos for my supporters. Let's call it a pro offering. And the idea is to make this hobby of producing videos about Emacs and other topics more sustainable. So I will be adding here and there some videos that will be restricted only for those people who support my efforts and I estimate that it will be around 10 or 20 percent. It's an experiment. I hope I will be able to convince some of you to support my efforts. So if you liked this video or any of the previous ones, if it was helpful, please consider supporting my efforts. You can go to GitHub sponsorship, sponsors Zaiste. In the next episode, which is already done and it's pro, <laughs> we will see how we can interact with pull requests using Magit and Forge, which is changing labels, editing title, and so forth. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. May the Emacs Force be with you.